Hello and welcome, you amazing person. My name is Rob. I'm the Manic Gaming Guy. And today we're playing some Car X Street on PC. Now this episode is going to be showcasing my NX5. I did an engine swap. I put a 2.5 litre, no, 2.4 litre engine in it. And it is absolutely bonkers. So we are going to be taking it for a spin. But first of all, let's show you what I've put into it, shall I? So we're just going to jump into the tuning shop. So like I said, I've spent, I think it was like 82 of the street coins, dropping a 2.4 litre engine in here. We're not running any ECU on that bad boy. We do have the Elite Turbo. The camshaft is racing. And the intake is street. Intake, intake. And we have a racing injectors. And the cylinder head is a stock. Engine block has been put to sport. Exhaust is racing. And exhaust manifold is racing. So uh, the engine has been tuned up to the far as I can take it to put it to 299 with the weight as well. We do have a little bit of weight reduction. Uh, we have a racing clutch and our limited, oh, the ultimate, sorry, uh, differential and gearbox. It's still rear wheel drive. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. I'm just going to go through this all quickly because some people are going to be interested. Fully lightweight. We have the elite uh, downforce going on there. We jump over to suspension now. We do have elite suspension on the. So we have elite front suspension arms. We have front stabilizers that are ultimate, ultimate braking, ultimate sway bars, and elite uh, arms, elite springs, and ultimate dampers. So that's the uh, the car. I have done my own customizations to the tuning uh, there's my tire pressure try a little bit less than the back try and give it a bit of grip the space on this car is pretty darn stanced it's pretty tight the only downfall is the back wheel just need to go in a little bit but it's okay i'm leaving it as it is because i like the way it handles at the moment i did have my suspension tuned like so i'll let you guys pause it if you need to Imitate the car. Brake force is quite high. Give it a nice little tuck into corners when you need to. Uh, stabilize the rear end a little bit. Give it a bit of camber to make sure it tucks in. A little bit negative toe to throw that corner back in. Uh, we have made it a bit lighter. Increase the downforce in the rear end to help it keep pushing down. Transmission loss is done. Gear in to make sure we've always got some torque in the corners and gear shifting speed has been taken down. Engine wise, uh, torque has been set to so, just so we don't break the uh, class. So I can't wait to finish the C4 and then put even more parts into this MX5, oh sorry, NX5, and see how crazy it can get. Because at the moment it is pretty bonkers. We're pushing out 381 brake horsepower and a total speed of 266 kilometers per hour. So about 150 miles an hour this car would do. Acceleration is 4.8 seconds. I'm guessing that's just 60. And the weight distribution is not too bad still. We've got 44% in the back. So let's take it for a spin, shall we? I have got a race I've been trying to do. So we're going to be trying to achieve that today. So we go over to the map. Uh, I'm already achieved four of the clubs. We just need to go to this place here and get this one done so we can hopefully have enough money to then buy an RX-7 or whatever they've called it in this game. That's going to be my next powerhouse of a car. This one is about on its limit. I can't really push it any much further. These races are getting a bit hard. Let's just put it that way. There's some of them are right powerhouses and um, they're a bit, a bit tedious. So we're going to have a good challenge on our hands on this race. So sit tight, hold on and wish me luck. There we go. Push start on the race. I have given this a go a couple of times. I sort of know where it's going. But this car on the left is just going to ram me straight away. And it's been winding me up to high heavens. So we've got to put up with that. Why is it pushing me so far over? It's sort of the AI out, but not perfectly. But now we've passed him. Oh, my days. Back end out through the gaps of the car. Dive bomb this guy. Ram him out my way. Here we go, boys. It's on. This car is intense. The speed. 
Oh, and I've been round off. It does have a bit of a twitchy back end at the moment. Uh, I can no oh, before I overly tuned it. I could normally catch the back end quite easily after even being knocked. But uh, yeah, on this track here, it seems a bit hard to. Oh, get out of my way, bro. Yeah, on this track, it seems a bit. Oh, he's going to go into me, isn't he? No. A bit hard just to keep your truck car where you want it to go. Oh, my. That was bad corner by me. Oh, I'm getting round on the inside. Oh, and start again. It does normally take a few tries to get this uh, going right for you, but as soon as we get out of the the busyness of the other AI cars, we should be not in a too bad of a predicament. But I, so far, I'm not looking like a good race car driver. But trust me, I do okay. This guy really does not help. Luckily, a bit of traffic has gotten away then. I don't want to overdo it there because he'll just cut me up. There we go. Keep it in. Oh, my lock is not good today. The tyres feel a bit on the slidey side as well. Considering we've got racer tyres on, it has been gripping really well. But for some reason at the moment, it feels like I'm struggling. Keep the car on the road. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, I'm not be better than this. I think the car needs a little bit of tuning. The back end's a little bit happy on these Togo rows. I've been mostly in the city buzzing about this car and it's been fine. Uh, maybe I need to soften the back up. I don't know. Add a bit of softness to the back but also stabilise the roll. That might make my back end grip a little bit better. Or just stop slamming it through the corners so fast. That will also help. I can't absolutely hear my own gear at the moment. Probably should play with headphones on, but I like using my monitor speakers. Feels a bit more comfortable. Oh, oh we kept that corner. No, we fit the grass again. I think it doesn't help that it's night time. I want the daytime to come back. It will help my life a lot easier and actually be able to see where I'm going. Yeah, the, the race times aren't set. They do change depending on when you decided to do the race. Again, he's fighting me. He really wants to knock me off the road, this guy. And he's going to hit me now. Oh, he didn't actually hit me. Right, serious face time now. Let's uh, let's finish this race, shall we? And then we've got the money to get our next car. Which I might have to turn into a drift build first. Just for... Simple facts... I haven't done any of the drift challenges yet. And it's basically like easy money waiting to be taken. That uh, guy's just completely stacked it on this corner. Oh my days, I almost let the back end come out then. That would have been dangerous. Looks like we've got one guy stuck. Well, another guy's just crashed. So I'm obviously driving too fast for the AI. He can't keep up properly with me. Oh no, not this corner. We oh! <laughs> Oh my days. See what I mean? This car is wicked. It just grips in the corners when you need it to. As long as you haven't set yourself too much of a task. And just put that back end in when you need to. And it grabs the tarmac and says, Hey, you're coming with me. So much speed on these tiny little back roads. It's not easy to keep it where you're meant to keep it. Especially when there's traffic in the way. We're doing okay though. Lap two and we're still leading. Can we keep it that way? I hope so. For your entertainment purposes and my sanity. Oh, I've hit the grass. Concentrate. Back on the tarmac. Okay, we're okay. A bit of back end happiness. That's the way we like it. Makes it more entertaining for me. And you, if the car's going sideways. I've definitely got more grip for these corners. I'm just trying to take it easy. But, uh, as long as I've got that guy. Oh, God. Not this corner again. I 
the most power of it in fourth gear. That is insane. You think this car's got even more to give you? I've not fully tuned it up. I wonder what it's going to be like against the higher classes in C5, if it can get it up to that point. It might be a case, this is it for the car, as in the clubs it can do. Well, there we go, we finished, we won. We've got the money now to buy a new car, which will be the next episode of Car X Street on PC. But for now, I'm happy with the fact I managed to do half of that club with the NX5 that's been engine swapped with a 2.4 litre. I do recommend doing the engine swap and sticking to the cars that you get given. I reckon I can probably do the whole series in this car. Oh, we are lots of bad boys. We've got 25 grand. This is a, uh, we've leveled up obviously. Nice. We've already got this car because we got it with the Dulux version. And I think we've got another one of these. Possibly. Possibly not. NSX, HSX. That's going to be a cool car to maybe own. What's that? That's going to be a Skyline, isn't it? Nissan, Skyline. Some BMW, some Porsche. Nice. Nice stuff. The same they don't give you more money so you can own more cars and go crazy with the tuning and have more fun. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm hoping once we get to completing this, they will give us more clubs to race or something because we're going to need more money. I believe you get to level 50 and it all stops there and you've done all the clubs. Of course, you've got all the deliveries to do, which will keep your money topped up. Uh, but it's going to get a bit boring just doing deliveries, I think. But anyway, I've been the Manic Gaming Guy. I hope you enjoyed this and I want you guys to keep it real, stay safe and share that love. And if you feel like it, maybe hit that like button. Bye-bye now.